How's it going guys? Well, as you see, I'm actually in the middle of getting this one taken apart and we're going to be installing the new Corvos Defense charge handle. So this is the first time that I'm doing one, so this is going to take me a little while to do, but I'll explain what I'm doing as I go through it. And hopefully you guys will like this video for way details of a raw armor to go through this for the first time. Uh, but I will make a separate video explaining the process once I've figured it all out. So to start off, um, I've stripped down an AUG. I've pulled the barrel off, the receiver out, and taken out the bolt carrier group assembly. Um, I have just the bra receiver here in front of me. Uh, I've pulled the charge handle to the middle of the receiver and it is going to take a 3 30 seconds punch or a 3 millimeter. You can roll this charge handle over. You're going to see that there is a drift pin right here that we're going to need to tap out. So make sure you're square on it. Uh, if you guys are at, you know, you always know that I'm using the real, real Avid tools, so the small brass hammer. And I'm filming this right here in front of myself. So let's tap this out. It takes a little bit of force to get this one to pop out. It's not wanting to come easily. Alright, a couple good hard wax. It's starting to come out. We'll go ahead and drift it all the way. As you can see, it's starting to come through here on the back side. I'm actually going to change up and go to a, just a little bit larger of a punch so I don't ding up the drift pin and I'm changing out to an eighth if it will fit. Just barely an eighth will go in. Just because it's starting to get through I don't want to roll the edge of the, the drift pin and damage it. Well, that drift pin on the angle that I have it is actually going through the slot here on the inside of the receiver so I don't have to worry about damaging the aluminum. Just keep that rolled over until it pops out. Alrighty, I just saw the pin fall. Now it's going to be to remove the punch. All right, it took just a second to pull that punch out. If you use the quarter inch, once it goes all the way through, it is going to get stuck. I had to use a pair of pliers and just kind of wiggle it back out. But now that that pins out, we should be able to remove the plastic charge handle. There we go. It pops right up. All right, you're going to take that three millimeter punch and push the link pin from the front to the back. There's this pin right here with the spring. So we're going to push it through. Set that pin. Now there are two springs in here. One is the mechanical up at a uh, horizontal movement and then there is a like a piston spring here on the bottom. So do be careful that they don't pop off and you lose them. You see the one fell right here, and it actually has, it's a captured spring. It looks very similar to a firing pin. We'll pull out the other spring. There's that spring. And then, then here is the captured. 
Okay guys, sorry for the jump around here. We're just having to go through the books and back and forth since there's not a video. You guys are getting to see the very first one, but we'll explain this a little bit better. When you reinstall the actual lockup for your charge handle, the part that actually slides inside the receiver, you're going to have to reinstall this spring inside. Like I said, you need to cam it to make sure that it lines up and touches to this little groove right here. So once that's done and you don't drop it, we'll reinstall it and I'll show you guys. Rotate this around. All right, it's inside. You're gonna have to stick it inside here and pull it all the way to the rear. So that's what we're gonna do now. Alrighty, once you have it somewhat vertical, this is where you're going to put temporarily the charge handle back on. So you are going to need the retaining screw and the lock. Insert it in the back of the charge handle. Put on your two security washers and then the charge handle. And all you're looking to do is start about three threads to hold this because this security lever the detent has to go across the back now at this point you're going to have to push there's just not a good way to see this there's the spring inside is keeping this off so pushing it down and then rotating this lever off and if you have too many threads, it will not want to grab. So we'll pull this here to the back. There we go. Now we'll tighten this up. And now the charge handle is installed. Make sure everything moves freely. Now the position of the charge handle is whatever you're going to want it to be and you can take a little bit of Loctite or when you tighten the screw down you can position the charge handle at a full 90 degrees, a full vertical 12 o'clock position or internal wherever you need it. So we're just going to lock it here at the full, full 90 for the moment and we're going to reassemble the gun and make sure that everything functions the way it's supposed to. So, give me one second, we'll check it out. Put this back into the receiver. And we're checking everything. And as you can see, this is on a full 90 now. It does have some movement for it to kind of go up, but we're gonna pull it back. And that is so much easier to lock the bolt back now. It does have a little bit of play and we'll have to adjust this for if we want a full vertical. Let's go ahead and move this over. Uh, I am using fix-it sticks. Uh, probably put out because I want to make sure the torque settings are correct on this here. So just to start off, we'll take it up to about oh five pounds or so. Let me get this over. Now you guys know that's what's really great about these fix-it sticks is that they have the indicator on here. So we'll go ahead and tighten her up. That should hold that. That's at the full, full vertical. And it goes all the way up inside real right up against the scope mount. I don't think a full vertical would be appropriate, but you might like it there. But there's the new charge handle. Like I said, guys, this is the first time I've installed one and actually had to you know go through this. And the directions that I'm reading are actually in German, so I'm doing a little translating. And with there just not being anyone that's done one before and put on camera, it's taken me a few minutes. But I will streamline this and explain in a better video and better detail on how to do this. Uh, I will say this is probably one of the more complicated items to have to do on the AUG for upgrade parts. 
uh, just because you need to punch some punch pins and I did actually have to go through my armorer's book so I'll see if I can speed line or streamline this up to make it easier for you so you're not aggravated and it's a lot simpler for somebody at home alrighty guys let me get back in here and fine tune all this and I'll get a better video out soon but that'll be it for the moment alright have a good one